Hey everyone, I am Dylan. I'm a content creator here in the Plaid studio and I'd like to welcome you in to our YouTube Live this afternoon. And this afternoon we are going to be sharing with you the brand new addition to the folk art line. If you're familiar with acrylic painting or fine art painting, you'll know that the folk art brand has a wonderful legacy and history to it. And we have created a brand new fluid art or paint pouring program called Folk Art Drizzle. Now this is one of the formulas that we've come up with for you to try all kinds of amazing techniques and tips and tricks. And there are just so many different possibilities with paint pouring and we've been coming to you live the last two weeks to announce this launch of this amazing formula which is available exclusively at Michael's stores so click the link in the description and you'll be able to go to Michael's and shop the whole collection we have paint we have several different formulas of paint we have tools like this star cup that we're going to be focusing on today um, we also have a big workstation which is our paint spinner so there are just so many different things to jump into if you've never tried paint pouring or fluid art before now is the time to get involved because we have brought this to you and it is so amazing to play with and pour with it's just such a fun fun process so I would like to introduce you to the formula itself this is one of our larger bottles our 17 and a half ounce bottles which are our original formula so these are a glossy finish non-toxic water-based fluid art pouring paint and this dries down to a super super high shine gloss and it's perfect if you've never done pouring before or if you have done a lot of pouring and you're experienced in fluid art I think this will cater to everyone out there on the market so it's a really exciting product and we do have Steven in um, the building today if you have any questions relay those to him and he will let me know if you guys have any questions so what we're going to focus on today is our brand new star cup now this is a special cup that we have designed to have this awesome star shape and you can tell it's fully you know it's hollow it's see-through and when we pour paint down into these chambers on our canvas we're going to be left with an amazing pattern just like this so there again you can see that crazy bright glossy shine that these paints give you and one other thing that we hear a lot about is um, we get the question all the time of is folk art drizzle um, a paint that we can use to make cells now cells are these little color circles here where the paint has almost had like an oil and water type reaction where it's burst open and you see that black is revealing that beautiful orange and yellow underneath so those are called cells and the short answer to that question is yes folk art drizzle does create cells but you do have to add silicone so silicone is an oil that you can add into your folk art drizzle pouring paint and you can get that at michael's or a bunch of other retailers online and that is just a simple oil and it comes in one of these large bottles and you pour a few drops into your paint you mix it in and then you do your pour and the second part of getting cells would be a torch so we use these really small simple butane torches and these are used a lot in resin crafting um, and a lot of different um, small hobbies and you can find them everywhere you can find them at the grocery store you can find them at Michael's different craft stores they're really easy to get and you just refill these with butane fuel and these are great to have by your side really for all kinds of different crafting but today we're going to use it to reveal our cells so I want to walk you through basic principles of pouring if you've never poured before this is a great way to get into it so if you go to plaidonline.com, you will see that we have a great PDF guide. This is totally free. You can print it out and just keep it with all of your pouring stuff. And this explains what the pouring paint does, the tools that we have. We have a bunch of different designs that you can achieve with our tools and paint formulas. We have basic supplies to have on hand anytime you're doing a pour. And then we also give you a bunch of tips and tricks. So you'll want to go to plaidonline.com slash drizzle to find all of that information and it is a fantastic um, landing page you'll find our YouTube playlist you'll find the product at Michaels and you'll find all of these tips and tricks we've done an amazing round of videos for you explaining all the tools and the paint formulas so I encourage you to go look for those and um, see all the different possibilities that can be made with folk art drizzle now today what we're going to be highlighting uh, like I said a minute ago is our star cup and this is a star shaped cup that is completely hollow and we're gonna pour paint down into it and we're going to create this star shaped design. Now we also offer this cup in a flower. I'm gonna show you that one as well. 
That is our flower cup, and it's the same concept, just with a flower shape. So these are really, really fun projects. I encourage you to try out all kinds of different color combinations. It's just a really, really cool technique. And again, we're using that in tandem with our paint spinner. So this is our all-around great workstation. This is what I like to work on anytime I'm doing a pour, not just something that I require uh, spinning action. So this is a great thing to work off of and I just have it at my side all the time. It comes in really handy for most every pour that I do. So I would highly recommend using this. And like I said, we are going to use it to spin our project a little bit at the end, but you can also use it for straight up spin art. You know, on the packaging here, we've shown you this um, piece of spin art where we poured paint on and spun the spinner around and you get those crazy wild designs. So that is also another option for this tool, but it's just an awesome thing to have on hand. If you're new to paint pouring in general, you might know that it's a little um, overwhelming at first, all the colors that we have for you, but we've gone ahead and done the work and picked out several of these colorway kits. So we have a neon kit, we have an ocean kit, metallics. There are a lot of different paint sets. If you're brand new to it, you can grab a paint set and grab a tool and you will be ready to start paint pouring. That's generally what I say. Grab your favorite tool, grab a paint set, and go home and try some of those amazing techniques that you see on TikTok and Instagram Reels. It's really that simple. Now, to give you an overview of our formulas, we have our original formula that comes in these 17.6 fluid ounce bottles. These are huge and you can use it for so many different projects, depending on your project size. You can use these on a really large canvas, that's what I usually do, um, an 18 by 24. These are great for that, but you can also uh, use them a little bit at a time and they last a really, really long time. So if I were doing multiple 10 by 10 canvases, this bottle would last me several projects. Then we have uh, several other formulas that are our specialties. So these are our glitters. Now I know a lot of people out there love glitter and the sparkle and we have brought to you three separate colors of glitter. And they look a little bit milky in the package and they dry down to this amazing glitter. It's literally like pouring with liquid glitter and that base dries completely clear. So all you're left with is that beautiful sparkling glitter. It's an incredible, incredible product if you've never poured before, or if you have been pouring, it's a great thing to incorporate in your pours. One of the other products we have for you is our um, Flash Iridescent. And if you're familiar with the Folk Art line, you might know that we have a great product called Color Shift. And Color Shift has an amazing pigment in it that shifts from different colors. This one goes from a deep purple to a, uh, almost like a lilac-y blue in different lights. So we have several of those here um, we've got Optimistic Flash, that bright, beautiful purple, and then we have Cosmo Flash, this pinky red, um, and we have several others, Mint to Be Flash in the line, several other colors for you. And then, of course, we have our classic metallics. So we have four colors of metallics. We've got our gold, our silver, copper, and a pearly white um, cloud surf. Then we've got New Penny, Heart of Gold, and silver bank. So we have all those beautiful metallics that I'm sure you'd love to pour with as well. Um, and yeah, so I wanna go ahead and get started. I've picked several different colors and I'm gonna walk you through our colors and I'm gonna talk about how to create cells, which I know is probably on a lot of people's mind, how to create those cells with folk art drizzle. And the answer is really easy. We're just going to mix in some silicone to our paint. I'm gonna clear my workstation here. Uh, now, folk art drizzle is water-based and non-toxic. But I do wear some vinyl gloves just to keep my hands a little bit cleaner. You can totally wash um, your hands off with soap and water and it will not stay on your hands. Uh, the tools are the same way. They're made of a really durable plastic that is um, resistant to this paint. So it's not going to stay on there. They're really easy to wash off right after you've done your pour. So I've got my star cup here ready to go. And we're going to mix our colors. So I'm going to move this up to the side. And we are going to use pitch black. Canyon, Neon Sunshine, Neon Pop, and Optimistic Flash. So these are the um, five colors that we're going to use here today. And I'm going to grab some cups. Now, Folk Art Drizzle is great to use right out of the bottle with this awesome flip top cap. You can pour it right onto your canvas. But like I said, we're doing a um, pour with silicone, so I like to separate my paint out and mix my silicone in. 
it's a lot easier that way. If you were doing a lot of pours um, on a huge canvas or something, or you didn't have cups, you could definitely mix it right into your bottle of paint. You just would have to expect cells in all of your projects, which is not always what we want our pouring projects to look like. So I'm just sectioning these out into cups, and we're just going to use some wooden stir sticks to stir in our silicone. Now there are a lot of different ways to use silicone in your pour. Um, I've seen people mix a little bit of silicone into every color. I've seen a, where they mix it into one color. So I encourage you to experiment and find what works best for you. I am going to mix a little bit of silicone into every single color because I know that has uh, been pretty reliable for me in the past. But feel free to try different ratios. I'm just going to put a drop of silicone each, not much at all but we encourage you to try all kinds of new things. And if you do end up trying um, any kind of cells with Folk Art Drizzle, go ahead and hashtag Folk Art Drizzle when you post them on Instagram or Facebook. We would love to see them. So I'm going to take that silicone, just pour a few drops in each. I'm going to grab my stir sticks and incorporate all of this. And what we're going to be doing is pouring a base coat, if you will, of black onto our canvas. And I do want to take a minute to say that we are using a um, wooden canvas panel. You can find these at platonline.com. These are a great go-to for paint pouring. Um, that's not to say you can't use a traditional wrapped canvas, but I like to use these boards because when I'm doing these cups, I want a really good... Um, solid connection between the bottom of the cup and my canvas. So if I were to use a wrapped canvas, it's very pliable and bouncy, so it may not make complete contact, and that's why I've chosen to use a board today. But the, as far as what you can pour on, the possibilities are endless. We pour um, directly into baking sheets if we want paint skins, you know, paint dried paint. Um, We've poured onto lamps, lampshades. We've slung our paint onto canvases. There's a ton of different ways to use folk art drizzle. Uh, Dylan, we have a question. Yeah. Uh, do you know off the top of your head the cost of the Star Pour Cup? I do not, but we do have the links in the description um, that you can head right over to Michael's and you will find um, that price point. I'm sorry, I don't have that information for you today. Uh, we also have lots of comments that say they love the colors. Uh, they're definitely beautiful. Love these sets. Yeah. Uh, Diane says she wants to see you pour over a round object. That would be kind of fun. Okay. We can definitely incorporate some 3D objects. Yeah. You know, we've done lamps. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. We've done um, terracotta pots. Uh, folk art drizzle is indoor and outdoor, so you can definitely do it on flower pots, any kind of artwork that you want to have outside. That's a great suggestion. So it's really this simple. You get a little bit of that silicone oil. You get a few colors. You would not have to do um, all of these colors. If you don't want to, you could do really three colors um, and a little bit of silicone, and you'd get a great effect as well. I just chose four of my bright colors just because I love the way these four go together. But you do not have to pick four. You could do two. Um, it, it's really up to you. So it's really fun to see what you guys come up with. So please be hashtagging folk art drizzle when you do projects. We would love to see how they come out. All right, so I'm going to set my colors to the side here. One thing I will mention is that folk art drizzle is permanent. So if you are working on a wooden table or something and you're worried about your table um, finish, you definitely want to make sure that you have covered everything around your, where you're pouring. You don't want to get any kind of pouring paint on something that you don't want pouring paint on, if that makes sense. Um, because drizzle is very messy and it's super fun, but we just want to make sure that you um, are protecting your workspace. So we've put a piece of uh, poster board down and under that we have this great drop cloth. So I highly recommend getting some of those for your workspaces. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is spread an even layer of our black onto our canvas and I kind of just do some in the center and some around the edges. And then one trick that you'll see a lot of pouring artists use is they'll grab that stick and they will move the paint around onto the top of the canvas. 
to help get it spread all the way across and nice and even. So I highly recommend that as well. And Full Guard Drizzle has such a good working time and such a great flow that we're able to do this and it stays wet. You know, if you're not familiar with pouring paint, it is different than our traditional acrylic paints. It has a special medium mixed into it. You might see a lot of pouring artists mixing their own ratios of pouring medium and paint, which is a great way to do pouring. However, we know that sometimes, uh, especially for me, I'm kind of lazy and I don't wanna have to put all that work in. Um, I would rather my paint just be ready to go when I want to pour, and that's the great thing about Folk Art Drizzle. It is ready to go out of the bottle, and also, you know, one thing to consider is a lot of times you'll see pouring artists, and they will do their pour, and then they will do a top coat which is great, they end up with a great result. But again, as far as patience goes, I don't have the patience for that. And we have mixed in a beautiful glossy shine so that when your painting is dry, it is ready to hang. So that is one of the fantastic elements of Folk Art Drizzle. You already wait long enough for a paint pour to dry, uh, but it's very uh, annoying when you have to add an additional coating of a clear coat after your project's done. That's, I, I never have the patience for that. So this is a great product for those of you who have very little patience and a lot of creativity. <laughs> okay. And then one thing I'm grabbing is baby wipes or any kind of like paper towels. It's great to have these on hand when you're doing a pour. Helps you stay clean um, and keeps your hands free of any paint if you were to touch anything. It's really nice. I highly recommend having those on hand. Now you can see we might have a few bubbles here just because of mixing our paint. So I'm just gonna knock those down with my torch get a nice even surface to work with. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be pouring directly over this. So now I'm going to try and center my star cup, place it right down in the middle, and then we're going to incrementally pour our colors in. So we're just gonna do a little bit of each in each of the little wells. And we're gonna layer our paint and then after we get a little bit of paint, probably about a quarter inch of paint in the bottom of our wells, we're actually going to kind of lift our cup up to let that paint flow out from under it. And then we're gonna repeat that until we have a beautiful puddle of paint. And that part is really fun to watch because that's where all the cells happen. So we're gonna use our torch to reveal those cells as soon as we lift up some of the paint. Here's another good question, Dylan. Yeah. Uh, can you mix the colors? Example, if I want, or if you want a very light lavender or a pale yellow, could you mix the two paints? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we love blending these colors. I just did a pour that I like to call a terrazzo pour, <laughs> where I blended some muted colors, some more home decor colors, and you can absolutely do that, and I encourage you to, because these colors are beautiful, bright, vibrant, and really wild, but it's really, you know, we've put basics in the line so that you can blend any color you want from these colors, so that is a great suggestion. All right, I'm gonna finish with this color and then we're gonna lift our cup a little bit and we're gonna see those cells start to appear. Now, like I said, the cells and the torch are kind of codependent. You definitely wanna have um, your torch at hand because that really helps reveal those cells. So you can see some paint coming out already and we're going to help it out. Okay, and this is where the magic happens. Okay, so you can see we've got some cells starting there where all that color is bursting open and I'm really loving the way that looks. So we're just gonna keep repeating this. This is also really therapeutic and relaxing. Um, you just get to play with color and experiment. I just love folk art drizzle for that. I know a lot of people just like to watch paint pouring and I am one of them. Um, it's really just fun to see the paint flowing.
right, Stephen, if you want to zoom in a little bit, I feel like I want to want everybody to see all these crazy cells. You can see those cells right there is a great picture right there. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so you can see where the silicone oil is reacting with all the other colors, and we're getting those beautiful blobs of color that kind of peek out from that black. And that's what this is all about, mixing that, that silicone in so that we get those cells. You don't have to really go in any particular order. This is just about having fun and experimenting, and I'm just like going back and forth between all of my colors. let it come out just a little bit more. I want this to almost, the, my center of color, I want that to almost start dripping off of the edge of my canvas. And then we will um, do the slightly tricky part, which is pulling your cup up. It's a very important part. Getting close here. And see, this is why I love this paint spinner. You can see I'm not really using it to make any kind of design. I'm just using it to access all the different areas of my pour. And it really comes in handy when you're doing these kinds of techniques. It's a lot easier than picking your canvas up and moving it around or having to move around your canvas. Okay, so I'm gonna put my final color in, and I think we're gonna go for this bright canyon. So for the very last color, let's see, I'm gonna let some more out. You wanna kinda of let all the rest of your paint come out, and we're gonna pour one last color in. And we're gonna do our canyon. And then for the very last color, what I like to do is take my stir stick and blend my color. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera there. Blend my color in those, air, those chambers because this is what's going to make our star shape. I just like to blend that up a little bit. Okay, and then the trick to removing your cup is to gently lift it up, let it pop, because there's basically like a bubble of paint between the canvas and the cup, and you want to let that bubble pop. Then remove your cup and get it out of the way so that no paint from your cup um, drops onto your canvas. Move this up so you guys can see it. Okay, so we're going to gently lift. Okay, all right. All right, then, when, this is the reason I have the spinner here, we are going to spin our canvas to spread that design. 
That's so cool. And you see that, that really soft spinning action helps spread the design across our canvas. Oh, that looks so cool. So I'm just going to hit this with the torch. There's just a few bubbles on top, and I want to try and see if I can make any more cells. I love the way the colors blended on this. This is really trippy and cool. Okay. All right, so that is how to create cells with our star cup. So if you'd like more information on uh, the brand new collection of Folk Art Drizzle, this is available at Michael's, and we have a bunch of links in the description. We have our YouTube playlist. We have uh, the platonline.com website for you to find out all this information, and then the Michael's link that you can actually go shop the collection. So hit that link down below. We will be back tomorrow with my cohort, uh, Tanisha. She will be doing some crafts here at 12 p.m., uh, so join us back tomorrow for some more tips and uh, tricks and techniques. And she's going to be focusing on those amazing specialties that we have in the collection. So we want to have you back here uh, at 12 p.m. tomorrow. So thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining.